Hey guys, a couple months ago we were scrolling through Instagram and came across a post made by another knife maker we follow called Half Face Blades. They're a group of Navy SEALs out in California that make some really cool outdoor and tactical style blades and we've always really enjoyed their work. Uh, so we left a comment just saying awesome job or something like that and uh, they saw that comment and took a look at our page too and they liked what they saw. So we actually got in touch with their owner whose name is Andy and we started planning like a little collaboration so that we could both work on each other's knives and come up with some really cool blades. So the plan was to have them send us two of their unfinished knife blanks and then we'd put our own little design touches on it, get a handle material on it, sharpen it up and get it all finished. And then we'd also send them to our unfinished knife blanks and they'll do the same thing. In this video we'll show you the whole process behind how we turn the two knife blanks they send us into some really awesome finished knives that combine their style with our style. We were really excited about how the final results turned out, so let's get this Stark Face Blades collaboration show on the road. Might need to work on that name mashup a little bit. Stark Face, Half Stark, we'll see. first knife we're going to be doing is one of their 8 inch chef's knife designs. I'm going to add a little bit of a satin swedge here for contrast as well as a curve here that will add a little bit of visual interest to the blade. The handle that I'm going to be putting on this knife is what we call blazing night resin which is a combination of white, red, yellow, and black resins that are all swirled around together to create an interesting pattern. I'm also going to put some simple stainless steel pins on this knife which is going to complement the silver look of the blade. The second knife that we're doing as a part of this collaboration is one of their Crow Scout models. On this one I'm going to be doing an acid wash on the flats along with satin bevels which is going to provide a lot of contrast to the blade. The handle material that I'm using for this knife is going to be gold flake that's cast in clear resin along with some burl wood. I'm also going to be putting a black G10 liner underneath it because when you're working with some clear resin if you don't have a liner you're going to be able to see the tang of the knife below it which can sometimes not be quite the look that you're going for. Here's what the handle material looks like without a liner. As you can see, the light passes through the clear resin, but when I put the liner behind it, it totally blacks it out, which will bring out the gold color a lot more. If I wet down the handle material, you'll be able to get a better idea of what it's going to look like once the knife is finished. As you can see, the gold really stands out a lot more. The first step is going to be cutting out all the handle materials. I have all the handle outlines traced onto the handles and I'm going to cut them out on the bandsaw. Here Benny's just grinding the face of the handle material so that the surface is nice and even. After safety, fashion is clearly the number one priority in the shop. Now I'm going to do one of the more dramatic changes to the original design. I'm going to add a satin swedge here on this clip point using a 120 grit belt on the flat platen of the grinder. When doing a collaboration like this, it's important to stay true to the original knife design while still putting your own spin on things. This ensures that the knife will be one of a kind and that it will have characteristics of both makers design influences.
Here's the finished sledge. I'm really happy with the sleek shine and contrast it gives the knife. Next I'm going to grind in this little curve here on the small wheel attachment and also put a little bevel around the choil area that will make it more comfortable to hold. I'm going to start working on this crow scout by doing an acid wash on the blade. So I'm going to put this knife inside this bucket that's filled with water and ferric chloride acid for like probably like half an hour or so. Then once it's completely dark I'll take it out and then stone wash it. To get the final blade finish I want, I need to first darken the entire blade in the acid and then I can come back and polish just this bevel. Only the world's finest spa treatments for our knives. After a few minutes soaking in this lovely environment, you'll emerge refreshed and feeling like a brand new blade. It doesn't really matter that the tang of the knife is sticking out of the acid since that's going to get covered by the handle later anyway. The knife was sitting in the acid for about 20 minutes. Let's see how dark it is now. Looks about the darkness that I'd like for this one. Now it's time to drill the pinholes in the handle so we can get it all glued up later. In that last clip you saw me beveling the front of these handle scales. I do that because it makes the knife much more comfortable to hold and once you have them glued onto the knife it's impossible to reach the front of those scales without scratching the blade. Right now I'm sanding them from 220 grit all the way to 2000 grit so that they'll have the same final polish as the rest of the handle. The last step before gluing is going to be drilling a bunch of little dimples into the handle material that will allow the epoxy to seep in and provide an extra good bond. Now I'm going to etch our logo into the blade. I do this using a personalizer plus etching machine along with some electrolyte etching solution and some stencils with our logo in them. I'm starting on the etch setting which is going to deeply engrave our logo into the knife. I do this like five or six cycles of one or two seconds a piece and then I'm going to switch it to the mark setting which is going to darken the logo. It's important to lift up the pad every couple seconds to release the gases and prevent heat buildup. This will extend the life of the stencil a lot. The moment of truth. Looks good to me.
For the blade with the gold flake resin handle, gluing is a two-part process since we first have to glue this black G10 liner underneath, and then the whole two-piece thing gets glued onto the tang of the blade. At this stage, the chef's knife is ready for handle shaping, and while the handle for the Crow Scout cures overnight, we're going to do the acid wash on the blade and then also put the satin bevel on it so that it's also ready for gluing, and then that one can be shaped as well. That does it for part one of this collaboration series, but part two is coming right up. So watch that one to see how we shape the handles and put the finishing touches on these awesome blades. Thanks a lot for watching, stay sharp, and we'll see you in the next one.